Hello my friends, Greg2G here, and today we're going to talk about Mad World. Now this is an MMORPG that a lot of people, I mean, no one's really talking about, and it's been in production for quite some years, and it's been delayed and delayed and delayed, but it's one of the most... Okay, first of all, I had the opportunity to actually play in the alpha test in, I believe, May of 2019, so I'm one of the very few people that actually have gotten to actually play this game. But yeah, okay, let's start off with like my experience with the game. So the game is just so unique. First of all, everything is, did I say first of all? Okay, second of all, everything is hand drawn. Like it, it, crazy to think, like everything is hand drawn. The art style is so unique, like obviously because it's hand drawn and it, it just looks amazing. Um, but yeah, like my experience with this game was like, I jumped in here having really no expectations and I, my mind was just blown from the very first moment I was I entered this world because it just felt so unique but also so familiar at the same time like I don't know if it's the like Diablo style combat or I'm not really sure exactly what felt so familiar but like yeah I, like being unique and familiar at the same time just kind of was, was kind of a crazy feeling that I had while playing this game and yeah i had a blast playing it like it's a it's also a free like open pvp game so you can like flag up anywhere in the middle of town if you want of course guards will attack you if you do that but um yeah you can flag up and kill people uh basically whenever you want <laughs> so yeah it's, it's and there's just so much to do in the game there's so much content there's raids there's pv like uh organized pvp like arenas and stuff as well and yeah. Anyway, so why why are we not playing this right now? Why is no one talking about it really right now? So what's going on with Mad World? So we go and look through the history. We can see some tweets like here. We see one from November of 2017 saying they're talk targeting the second half of 2018. And then after that, we they say it's been pushed back. We're working hard to have a beta before the end of this year. And that was in uh, 2018. And then, of course, there was no beta in 2018 as well. And they say summer 2019 is our goal after that. And then after that, uh, apparently something uh, went pretty well. And they moved into a new office. And, uh, yeah, so they spent a little bit of money there. Um, they announced their first alpha, Alpha Zero, which did actually happen in April of 2019 to a limited group of testers. I, I, I didn't play an Alpha Zero. I played an Alpha One, so the one in May. And then uh, after that, they said they're excited to announce that they're holding a second round of alpha testing on May 22nd. This is the one that I got selected for and was able to play in. Loved it. Loved every moment of it. There was the NDA at the time, though. Now the, they lifted the NDA, so we can actually share all this footage that you're seeing while we're talking. And then after that, they, they start talking about the idea of a crowdfunding campaign. And even though... An overwhelming majority of people said yes. Um, they did not end up launching that campaign. It seems like, I believe, after this um, is when they actually made a deal with Netmarble. And we can see this from this post in Discord. Uh, where they explain that the, they got Netmarble as the publisher for the game. But, to our detriment, at the same time that they made this deal... Um, and... You can also see here, uh, here's another post on Discord where they're talking about um, the feedback they got from Alpha. Apparently, a lot of people were not too happy, or, but even though I feel like most people actually were pretty pleased. So maybe they're just listening to the minority here, or I'm not sure, but from what I, my take, I thought it was, I thought it was great. Like, I had zero problems. Also, I didn't even mention at all, like, did I mention that this is an HTML5 game? This was a this is a browser game. I played this in my browser and I like honestly I had zero issues. Like I was I was actually surprised that I was playing in my browser and the controls and everything was so responsive. So yeah, just a little note there. But yeah, I, I had no issues and I thought it felt pretty great. I mean, yeah, it does the combat system is a bit I guess uh retro if if I I mean, I the whole the whole game has kind of a retro feel to it in a way. Um, but with like this really amazing art style. And I liked it, but yeah, I guess a few people did not like it so much. 
So yeah, they're saying, uh, and then at this point, they're saying that they're planning another alpha. So the third alpha phase, uh, they're still planning a third alpha phase in July of 2019, but that alpha phase never did end up coming. After that, we can see they're, they're hoping to release the game in late 2020. So this is like pretty much the, there was a pretty big gap between summer of 2019 to, uh, like the beginning of 2020. Um, they started beco becoming a lot less more active on social media. And uh, I guess they said they're saying that be it's because they're working more hard and uh, I, the deal with Netmarble might have had an effect on this as well. Um, and one thing I'm kind of worried about is like, are they delaying so much because Netmarble is... Are they changing a lot of things? Because I hope they're not changing much because the game looks in was amazing from from my viewpoint and I, yeah i'm kind of worried about how deep netmarble has their hands in this i hope that they're not really having a any making any creative uh decisions here because i think uh, what jandysoft and what they were doing with the development of the game and their vision was amazing like and and yeah so i really hope that uh, netmarble isn't like you know stepping in and uh, make, them change, make, a, make a lot of changes or anything like that. And then, last but not least, the, this is very recent, this was the last week, um, Mad World says it's still on a track, according to Massively OP, for a 2020 release. Maybe they, uh, let, let me actually take a look at this article. Did they actually have a, like, interview here? Let's check, uh, let's take a look real quick. It does, does seem like they did get this information directly from Jandysoft. But yeah, it's not so clear. But yeah, this game is gonna be great. I think it's gonna do well across the whole world. Like it's, uh, when I played it, there was like really no pay to win or anything like that, no autoplay, just like a really old school style action RPG mixed with uh, some MMO aspects. And yeah, as you can see by the footage that we've been running in the background during this conversation, it's. It's gonna be a gem. There's, no, there's definitely nothing like this. We've never had anything like this before. I love, love the dark and gritty atmosphere and uh, just like, wow, the, these these minds, these 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 people, these artists that are drawing this and <laughs> creating this world are. It's just they're must, they're so brilliant. Um, yeah, can't I can't wait to get my hands on this game. I really hope. It will release in 2020, but, you know, as we saw throughout the this video, they were, uh, you know, basically saying the, the entire time, every year, <laughs> that it would be releasing on that year. And, yeah, even they, they said beta in 2018, so and we still haven't even had beta in 2020. As supposedly, um, they're having testing just in Korea right now. This is a Korean... Uh, Korea Korean game, by the way, originally, um, but it will be re releasing globally um, altogether. And they, the version of the game I did play was all in English, um, no voice acting, but everything was in English. Of course, there was a few translation errors here and there, but uh, it's still, it was still like perfectly understandable. Anyway, yeah, Mad World. This is a game that's no one's really talking about. What do you guys think? Have you seen this game? Is this the first time you've seen it? If not, uh. Or if if so, yeah, let me know. And if not, let me know. Like, which are you are you looking forward to this game? Um, yeah, let's get some conversations going about Mad World, and you know, let let Jandy Soft know that we're still thinking about them, and we're still still hoping to see their game. Cause yeah, it, even the like, cause this should they say it should be also um, working on browsers on your phone. So they're actually going to have like a uh, people testing make sure it will be fully compatible with the phone browser as well so this will be the perfect cross-platform mmo arpg i would call that i would call it an mmo arpg even though even though they say mmo rpg i'm gonna call it an mmo arpg anyway yeah i can't wait to see what you guys think about it and uh that's gonna be the end of this video i can't wait for mad world it looks amazing i'll see you guys next time have a good one stay beautiful GG's.